In this video I'm going to show you how to make this spoon, step by step. So in this video I'm going to recreate this spoon, uh, basically with this shape, um, modified a bit, but same uh, bowl size and, and length. Um, so I've been wanting to make a video on my spoon making process for a while, but I've had uh, too much junk on this phone, so finally got it all cleaned up and I can actually record a decent video. Basically, um, the client wants a curved handle. Um, so this piece, you can sort of see how the grain is going off to the side. It actually kind of does a swoop. So um, I'm always looking at the grain to make sure I can incorporate the grain to, uh, to make a stronger spoon. So I'm going to trace this and my curve is going to go with the grain. So I think you can see that. So that's basically just what I'm trying to explain right now. Alright, let's cut it out. There you go. That is how to basically rough out a crazy spoon like this uh, pretty quickly. So this is where I like to hollow out the bowl. Uh, one of my methods is to clamp um, the handle uh, or just any flat side of the table. Um, sometimes clamping in the vise, um, you know, puts too much pressure on the bowl, and it can just you can watch it misshape. I haven't had one crack, but uh, just it's safer to clamp to the table. But I'm using my Vice to hold the camera. So, um, so yeah. So I start. I, I bought a two-inch gouge off eBay, and and this helps me get um, uh, a good shape quickly. So I'm gonna just darkening my line here, and then I'm gonna make a line inside. Just a little more than a little sorry tighter inside than I want but just playing it safe okay so you should be able to see that yeah alright so start with just a few little jabs or So there you go, that's the start of the bowl. So for this part, I'm sorry the camera's probably going to go a little shaky, but um, so I clamp the, uh, the spoon with the bowl face down, and I'm going to get uh, around the back of the bowl. So this is where you want to get a, like a good idea, um, have a good look at the underside, and um, just so you can picture how you want to round it. So this is not the final shape, obviously you'll do some whittling, but, um, but this is a quick alternative to, uh, to having a... Uh, shave horse and using a draw knife. Um, I find this to have a little more control than uh, than using a draw knife. Um, it's just my preference. I find the, the front of the bowl, the, the draw knife is a little tough to uh, to fix. So, um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to uh, shape this out with my chisel and mallet.
So for um, this part of the bowl, I find it easy to use my knife um, to round, so I don't like to really hammer on that. But I've got a you know a round um, round shape here to work with, so I'm gonna whittle the rest. The way I started with spoon making was just with basic tools as I mentioned, and I've been using this the whole time. Um, obviously, uh, it would probably be really nice to have maybe a you know a, a long bladed whittling knife. Um, the one thing I find with this is getting um, like a tight angle, the uh, the metal will leave a, a gouge. But um, it's just I've developed a a way and a style to uh, to utilize just carving with a, a utility blade. And it's nice just to, to change the blades quickly, um, but uh, you can make it work. So, so like I was saying, with the uh, the back of the spoon bowl here, um, I do like to just use my knife here, and so I find uh, just using the tip of the blade, you can get um, a nice rounded edge. You can get a really nice contour with the utility blade. It takes practice, but you can do it. So basically, I'm going to whittle that down, that's the back of my spoon, and just keep uh, chipping away. So this is a spoon after I've whittled it down, and I uh, got a little carried away and sanded it a bit. But, as you can see, it, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, but now I'm going to sand it, and so my process is 60 grit, and so uh, obviously to get around the corners, just you know, by hand. Um, the bowl, I, uh, I use my palm sander. And um, so you know, just uh, it's just a quick way to um, you know, to get nice and round. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I could explain about this, but yeah, let's uh, get sanding and see what it looks like after. So this is a spoon after sanding. That's 60 grit and then 150. Um, one important step with uh, spoon making is um, soaking it in hot water to raise the grain. So obviously, this spoon is pretty soft right now and smooth. But the second it touches warm water, uh, the grain is going to raise like crazy and it's going to be a really rough, ugly spoon. So uh, this is my experience with walnut. Walnut, the grain raises considerably. Uh, maple, I've worked with applewood. Uh, it's, it's a little more um, forgiving if, if in case you forget. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go soak this in hot water. The grain is going to raise like uh, quite a bit. It's going to feel like pretty fuzzy. And then we're going to sand that off again. And I'm uh, going to do that twice actually. So uh, the next step after I soak it and uh, sand it, it's just a really light sand with 150. And uh, I'm going to do that process twice. Uh, there's a lot of kind of end grain because, because of the curves going on here. So I'm going to do that twice and then come back. So this is a finished product. It's finished with a beeswax and mineral oil finish. This is after sanding it twice and um, sorry, raising the grain and sanding it twice. I'd say it turned out pretty beautiful. I also did some wood burning. I heated up a nail through a small scrap and uh, burned over a pencil sketch I had on it. I made it this far in this video. I just want to thank you for, uh, for being patient with me and uh, sorry if the video uh, quality is a little rough. but. Um, I hope to come out with more videos like this. Um, I've kind of modified my uh, technique for um, you know, spoon carving as to what you know, I'm going to find on YouTube. So my main goal is to hopefully encourage um, anyone wanting to attempt to make a spoon and um, you know, just uh, hopefully um, improve your confidence a bit and just uh, see that it is a, a doable project. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'll have more videos coming up pretty soon. And hopefully you have a good summer. And don't forget to check out my shop. There's a link below. Thank you.